Hello, my name is Henry Riihimägi and I'm a postdoc at KTH in Stockholm. And in this tutorial talk, I'm going to tell you about two different approaches of how to build topological spaces for directed graphs. So the basic setting is that we have a, a directed graph might be representing a network that we want to study and we want to use TDA tools. So we have to build topological spaces that are that go beyond the dimension one, which is the, the dimension of the graph. So graphs are one dimensional objects and we need to build some uh, higher dimensional topology on them. So the first construction I'm gonna tell you is the directed flag complex of a directed graph. So to do that, I need to tell you what are the simplices in the directed flag complex. So the n simplices will be totally ordered sets of vertices from the graph such that if I take any ordered pair from the sequence of vertices, then that ordered pair will correspond to an actual directed edge in my graph. And this way, simplices have a source, V0, so the first, first vertex, and sync the last vertex. Because if I take any ordered pair uh, for where the first element is V0, then that pair will always correspond to a directed edge starting from v V0. And similarly, if I take any ordered pair where the second element is Vn, that would mean a directed edge ending at Vn. So we can think about the simplices that these are directed clicks of the graph. So here, for example, on the left, we have a, actually a four click, so four vertices that gives us a tree simplex because the orientation of the directed edges here is such that we can satisfy this condition of, of, of the simplex. One thing to note is that oriented cycles, for example, like shown here, they will never give us a simplex because, uh, because it's an oriented cycle. It can never satisfy this, this ordering condition that we require. And a directed flag complex is not strictly a simplicial complex. It's a semi-simplicial set because simplices are not uniquely given by their vertices. For example, in this example here, we have uh, two one simplices that are spanned by the same vertices. So the vertices don't uniquely give us the simplices. And once we have uh, constructed the directed flag complex, we can go to GitHub and obtain a very nice software called Flexor, which computes us the, you know, the simplicial homology of the geometric realization of our directed flag complex. And as an example, if we do that, we have these two different directed graphs. So here, this one on the left and here on the right, we have just reversed the order of the, of the orientation of these arrows. And if we build the directed flag complexes, compute the homology, uh, we see that these two directed flag complexes are essentially homeomorphic to two spheres. So these two different directed graphs gives us the homotopy type of a two sphere. So this now, uh, raises the question that the directed flag complex and its uh, topology is a little bit insensitive to the directionality of the graph because for example it cannot recognize these two directed graphs topologically they are the same they are the two sphere so i want to introduce a second construction of how to build topological space and this comes from the Q connectivity of direct simplices, which is extending a previous work of, of Atkin. So the basic setting here is that we want to build now topology on the set of directed simplices. So then of course, first we need to get all the simplices and this you can do, you can do by again going to GitHub, get a variant of Flexor called Flexor count and this will actually output you all the directed simplices of your directed flag complex. And now simplices 
of course come with phases. So if we have an n simplex sigma, it has n minus one phase in the i direction, where we just apply the phase map di, which removes the vertex at position i. So let's let's modify this phase map just a little bit. So well, let's do this di hat map, which works as follows. So if i is less than or equal than the dimension of your simplex, then we can just remove the vertex at position i as usual. If i happens to be larger than the dimension of the simplex, then we just always remove the vertex from the end, so the last vertex. So essentially, this map just removes the vertex at position minimum of i or the dimension of, the, of your simplex. To continue with definitions, let's take now sigma and tau to be two directed simplices, both which are of dimension q or higher. Then the ordered pair of these simplices is q near along these directions given by this ordered pair of these new phase maps if either of these following conditions is true. So simplicial inclusions are always near. Otherwise, we apply the first phase map to the first simplex of the pair, the second phase map to the second simplex of the pair. And then we see that is there some common Q-dimensional simplex that is included in these both of these remaining phases. And then we can take a transitive closure of this relation of being Q near, and this gives us a Q connection along, along uh, this pair of directions determined by this phase map. And the Q connection is a sequence of simplices that goes from sigma to tau, such that any two consecutive simplices in the sequence are Q near. So as an example, let's look at a one connection along D0, D2 phase maps for this pair of simplices sigma and tau as shown here. So sigma is not definitely included in tau, nor tau is included in sigma. So then we apply the first phase map D0 to sigma, which is given by 0, 1, 2, and we remove the vertex at zero, giving us the one simplex one, two. Then we apply the second phase map D2 to tau, and we remove the vertex at position two. So position zero, position one, position two. So remove the vertex three. And this gives again, the simplex one, two. So indeed there is a shared uh, one dimensional simplex that is included in both of these uh, phases. So that's depicted here, the red one, one simplex going the directed edge going from one to two is the shared one phase between sigma and tau. And this is connecting now sigma and tau along this pair of directions. And of course we can have longer connections as well. So let's imagine that in our directed flag complex, we have simplices in a sequence, uh, in a compatible directions for our specified face maps. And so we can have like these, these higher dimensional paths of simplices as I visualized here. So now this relation of being Q connected along these uh, directions turns out to be a pre-order between simplices. So now there's a classical work of Alexandrov that says that pre-orders now objectively correspond to topological spaces with Alexandrov topologies. Then pre-orders can be condensed into partial orders and partial orders bijectively correspond to T0 topological spaces. So topological spaces with the uh, D0 separation axiom. And then the homology or homotopy type of partial orders can be studied through their order complexes. And if you want to know more about this, I suggest that you can look at Shelley Candola's tutorial on, on finite topological spaces. 
So now what kind of topology do we get from this, this Q connection? So let's again look at these two directed graphs, which from the point of view of directed flag complex and its simplicial homology were two spheres. So the directed uh, the simplicial homology was unable to saw these as different objects. Now, if we look at the one connection along D1, D2 phase maps, and we construct, so first we need to construct the simplices here, and then look at this relation of one connection along D1, D2 directions, and, and, and then uh, take that pre-order condense it into partial order and look at this homotopy type, we see that actually now these are different. So the left one, we get wedge of two S1s and the right one is S1. So indeed we have introduced now different topologies that can tell these two directed graphs apart. So I hope that you learned something interesting on how to build topological spaces on directed flag complexes, and hopefully someday you might find it useful in your own analysis. Thank you.